Dynasty is my uh, quest window model one one eight five 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 one zero five zero is one thousand book spindle and I found my spindle have too much noises and it, it was the burning of the spindle bearings or the wear, wearings on them I disassemble it and put and the lower two bearings among this on the front brackets with the with the core of the spin spindle motor and here here is the spindle motor core and the front bracket here and also the is the front assembly and to remove the two bearings out is a tremendous difficult and I need to modify my my injection motor to a hydraulic press here is a hydraulic pump it's five ton, five ton, five ton hydraulic pump, and through this shaft and push, push down. This is the eight millimeter shaft, and push the motor spindle out. Here the front assembly was dis disassembled and I explained the tools I need to to dismount the stem and the spindle shaft is tight fit on this These parts, the hole and this shaft are tight fit, and to loosen it, I need these part, these parts that I made. It. This is a eight millimeter shaft, and there is a nut. This nut can fit on this this screw portions and a big washer and there is a steel pieces I cut the right angle here and two pieces and I need to put this onto the screw portion and then use this nuts to hold, hold them and then afterwards I put all this on the crash machine and use this millimeter shaft to push it out, push this push this shaft out. And it came out this passes. It came out this pass and I loosen this there is a earring here. I loosen it. And this was slide fit outside. And I got this part. There's two ball bearing and the passes. Actually there's two passes to mount this ball bearing, one and two. And I need further to disassemble it in the second operation. Now in this operation Actually, uh, there is a PDF document on the website that describes this, how to dismantle this spindle. And I also read that and to, to do it on, my, on this, on my spindle. 
and the main purpose of this video is to show my uh, hydraulic press to do this job and the hydraulic press is modified from my injection molding machine and now in the second operation I need these tools and uses use the original has nuts and a aluminium pieces, circular piece, and put it inside. You can see here, and then before before screw them, I also need this part. And I will put same as before. I need to put this on here. And also, this on here. Now I don't need this nut. Instead, I will use this spindle has nut. And then I screw them. Afterwards, I will use this pin to press it. Press the fun, fun portions out on the Hydraulic press. One thing I missed this. This is the washers on this assembly. I can make use of this washer and put it into the wall bearing and then assemble them before using rod, the metal rod to push them out. Here and the bearing was pushed out there. you can see my support no I support here actually there is no this aluminium bar and this shaft already pushed out and the 8mm shaft already hidden there was inside and now the, the 8mm shop work piece is here and this shop was detached from the two ball bearing here I push this handle and it will pump the oil and push the main views downward. This, these two bearings are taken out and I check the rotation. This one is is bad one. It is not smooth. However, this one this one is still a good one. Anyway, I bought I bought two new pieces. It's NSK brand. And according to the spec heat for this new bearing, it only it go to 24,000 RPM. And for this spindle, is 25,000 so although there is 1,000 1, RPM less for this new bearing uh, it's not a major problem because I I seldomly turn this spindle to the highness rotation I need to assemble the new bearings onto this shaft and one thing and, and I need to prepare some some fixtures and I use some scrap pieces this is this is a circle tube circular tube and this is a pin this pin is 
around 12 millimeter diameter and it will be insert into here and press the shaft onto the bearing hole so this this shaft this rod to be a little bit a 10 millimeter insert into this hole so it will keep the alignment in straight during the push down process otherwise it will incline this and it's not good and this ring or chip is to is for the bearing to sit on and one thing you need to be take care in a same bit bearing and you need to press on this inner ring why why to do this you know the inner ring will be the inner ring is a little bit thicker than the outer ring you can see check it when two two of them are stacked together you rotate the outer ring it, it will be smooth that, that means there's gap between them but if you press on the outer ring it will push the outer ring against the other and then it will cause the tight fitting and also in the in such doing the outer ring will be dislocated and make the inner ball also distorted in position and it will permanent damage the ball bearing and after assembly you you will check this when turn it it was no no longer smooth so this is very important do that to have a cheaper pieces to hold the inner ring on the bottom and of course it's much better for this to have the circular pin on the centers so it can align it better now this bottom holder let's put on this platform and i use some deposit glue to fix it on this plate so during assembly it will not be dislocated and hope, i hope that this and this and the shaft are all aligned during assembly See you. Now, they were assembled during the pushing the pin down. You can turn this outer ring and you can feel it it still rotate freely and now it's already finished nothing I can take it out Now I take out the these fixture pieces and replace the upper nut on here and continue to the pressing operation to assemble them together. The assembly process is straightforward and now we come to this stage and all this. Or this made it 
and I will continue to assemble it here just put it inside and assemble this the crest spindle was restored everything assembled back and now connect the power and before you can check the play, play on this shaft it's still tight no set no no play on that on it and turn it and feel it no special noises and now turn on and the sound is normal this is the maximum this is the minimum now I can compare with a new one the sound the sound level this is the new one and this is the new one sound level low level to this one and you turn the shaft the top is less and same as this so the uh, the price for the this two bearing is cheap. It's around uh less than five US dollar for two pieces. The most important things is you need to have a small hydraulic press. It's five ton. I convert from a injection motor. A DIY injection motor and the rest of the simple fixture pins and holder are easily made and this now the end of the episode thank you for your watching